The ongoing COVID-19 pandemic has triggered a worldwide crisis of immense proportions. Globally, we are facing a threat from a virus which is yet to be understood. There has been a huge impact of the pandemic on lives. Businesses have shut their doors, downsized, leaving many persons out of a job. This has created the need for businesses to diversify their operations to new areas in order to survive this economic slump. The Secured Transactions Reform Project was conceptualized in order to create the enabling environment to increase credit for micro, small and medium enterprises. This new framework will allow the use of movable assets by firms to access financing to start new businesses or expand their existing operations. The legislation will enable both borrowers and lenders to recognize movable assets as collateral, thereby supporting credit financing with movable assets. So what currently obtains right now is our banks typically accept collateral in the form of real property or immovable property such as land and house. And even before we commence the implementation of this reform project, we conducted extensive research and analysis on the private sector in St. Lucia. And the data and the research basically reveals that the average small and micro business owner does not have access or does not own collateral in the form of land and building. And so because of this, it makes it increasingly problematic for them to be able to qualify for business loans from our local banks. And so what this project seeks to do is to expand the range of assets which can be used as collateral to include movable assets such as livestock, accounts receivables, bank accounts, inventory, vehicles, industrial equipment, etc. And of course the research revealed that these are in fact the categories and types of assets that an average young entrepreneur, small business owner or even business startup would have access to or would own. We manufacture personal and uh, home care products. That's you know where we are right now, hoping to grow, you know, to develop into something even bigger than what we are right now. It would be timely if we can enact this legislation at this time. Uh, because we are in a recession, a recessionary period, and businesses in particular would need access to, to finance in order to maintain their operations, okay, to, in, in order to improve their productivity, um, get to that, the level of economies of scale that they require. Because with, with shutdowns or, or scaling down of operations, you would appreciate that there is some efficiency loss. By having access to capital, you can keep your operations running at the same level of productive capacity, okay, and not find yourself in a situation where you are actually spending more for the same dollar of output. The International Finance Cooperation, IFC, World Bank Group, has provided technical assistance to St. Lucia in the implementation of this key reform, which is now at an advanced stage of implementation. The fundamental lesson the COVID-19 pandemic has reinforced is the need to prepare for the future with greater resilience and innovation while implementing projects and policies that increase St. Lucia's productivity and competitiveness. It is so important in terms of unlocking the economic potential that we have and during these pandemic times nothing is more important than making the maximum use of all resources at your disposal and this is exactly what this piece of legislation will do. It will give us the opportunity to use all the resources that we have at our disposal to ensure that we maintain a good level of um, productive um, capacity. From the context of any legal issues with the legislative um, provisions themselves, I think that we have largely been able to convince ourselves or to confirm for ourselves that the legislation is largely sound. Um, there have been a few examples in other states and um, territories throughout the world and so we did not see great degrees of challenge emanate from those nations. In fact, the results that came from them were fairly positive and so the outlook is fairly good. I think generally any reform project which tackles uh, 
or provide solutions to the challenges and issues of the private sector is very important and it not just augurs well for the private sector but it has also a positive ripple domino effect in the wider economy because we need to understand that the private sector is the driving force and the backbone of any economy. The implementation of the Secured Transactions project is an example of how government can unlock the private sector's potential. The introduction of this new legislative framework will better enable MSMEs to apply for credit in order to build resilience and introduce innovative products and services which will help them increase their productivity and collectively boost St. Lucia's level of competitiveness.